Hey guys, my name is Martin and today we want to rebuild this pen called Pure CSS Paper Lift Effect. Um, I made, uh, made this a few days ago because I needed it for a small client project and um, yeah, it's basically a paper with a, which is um, lifted at the edges and if you hover over it, um, somehow, um, yeah, folds back to the ground and it's uh, a little bit like if you would touch it or yeah, push it down, that's what I'm missing. So um, let's do this again. Um, code pen slash pen, maybe new or something like that. Oh, no, okay, save as private. Uh, we won't need JS. You can just close it with CSS uh, with um, the little thingy, that's what it's called, my English is so bad. So um, what we need is the div um, which is called paper. So that, uh, that's all we need, just one div. And um, then let's do a little bit of um, resetting styles I like to do at the beginning. Margin and padding to zero, and let's set the box sizing to border box. Um, actually, we don't need that for this pen, but anyways. So uh, background can be something like I don't know EEE -E -E, maybe. Okay, glorious. So we don't need the. HTML box anymore, only the CSS one we write as CSS. And um, I have activated the auto prefixer so we can write just plain CSS3 and code pen and auto prefixers uh, doing the work for us prefixing uh, everything that needs to be pre prefixed. So we have the pay part div, and this needs to be position relative. And let's add a little bit of margin so it sits in the middle and a um, little bit from the top. So um, we set fixed width and height. Oh, focus. Where are the buttons? Keys. And our paper has a background of yellow. We make a post it. Uh, post it. Post it. And I think it looks better if there's a little bit of border radius you won't notice notice it very much. So this is the paper. Um, the idea behind that is that here is a little box shadow and it goes a little bit like that. Um, what we can do is we will create a pseudo element which lies here and one that lies here. Sorry, this was my iPhone. And then we will uh, rotate it a little bit so it goes that way and that way. And we skew it a little bit so that everything um, looks fine. And, uh, yeah, just uh, let's get into it. So we have the paper and we have the before element and paper with the after element. And the content is nothing, just to make it work. And we need to position it absolutely. And we say 10 pixels from the bottom, and the width of it is 40%. Might work with 50 also, I'm not entirely sure. So, um, it has a height of 10 pixels. You can um, yeah, change these values is happy to work um, if you want the effect to look a little bit different you um, just change it up to whatever you want 2012 um, so this is fine and we need the box shadow for these things and um, the transition later but I will show you where they are right now just um, get the idea. So at the moment they are both 
on this side, but that's not what we want. So the before um, helper is left 15 pixels and the after element will be 15 pixels from the right. So these are the two elements which will later lie behind the, the paper and which will, we will um, rotate and these will have the box shadow um, to make it all look realistic, hopefully. So um, what we do, will do next is, um, let's see, we will transform this one, skew minus five degrees and rotate it also minus five degrees. Nice. Um, so, oh, oh, I showed it the wrong way. I thought we would do this, but that's it's bullshit because <laughs> the shadow um, goes this way, so the helper needs to be tilted this way, not that way. Makes sense. So, uh, let's copy this to the after and skew and rotate um, the other way. Nice. And now we add a little bit of box shadow. Box shadow. Zero, five, 15 maybe. And we use the RGBA so we can make it black but um, with a little bit of opacity. Okay, so see where we are going. Now um, that's basically it I guess. We can just press Z, Z index minus zero uh, minus one and now it lies behind and how it looks um, pretty good. Let's see, we can maybe adjust that a little bit. Um, yeah. So that it sticks out a little bit more. Yeah, you can tweak these values um, just how you like it. So that's nice, that's it probably. So, um, but now we want to have an effect if you hover over the um, paper. So to make that happen, we need the paper on hover maybe four is left only five pixels. Let's see. And paper hover after right on the five pixel. Okay. It's at the right, I think. Okay. And to make this really look good, we need a transition. Um, point three seconds is in and out. Yep, and that's nice. Maybe, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that's it. Um, yeah, you can, you can tweak the values just how you want and um, fiddle around and um, but that's the basic idea behind it and um, yeah I hope you like it and if you want to see more videos like that or if you have any specific questions or wishes for screencast let me know in the comments either on the blog or the YouTube page and I think I see what I can do um, yeah till next time thanks for watching stop don't go away 
I forget, uh, I forgot something important because it just <laughs> didn't look right. And after I stopped recording the video, I had another look at the code and I um, realized the mistake. So um, I forgot this. This uh, makes the um, box shadow on hover a little bit smaller. You see here, two pixel instead of five pixel, and also a little bit lighter, so the opacity is um, from 0.7 to 0.4, and now it uh, looks right. So the shadow moves um, to the outside and gets a bit smaller. This means the paper is um, at the bottom and not lifted so much. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.